Hello there, it's myself again, Bluebeard Rex, back here at the cold face of icy cold football here in Finland. Uh, welcome back. Good to see you again, or good to be seen again, uh, especially by my usual suspects. Hello, Eric. Hello, Harry. Hello, anybody else. Anyway, uh, tonight I'm hoping to crack through two games, but we'll see what happens. It's Monday, uh, the what, 21st of, uh, of January already, 2019. We're into the knockout stages of the Asian Cup, which is like a cue for me to give a little shout out for the Iraqi soccer project. I'm wearing the shirt, which is a pretty cool shirt, but unfortunately it's already sold out. But if you want to check out the Iraqi soccer project.org, these are guys who are basically selling football wear to uh, people, mostly Americans, <coughs> who want to support what's, uh, what they're doing to try and develop football in Iraq. Uh, I think there are squaddies who basically have um, wanted to give back having spent time there. Uh, either way, classy shirt. Tomorrow, I think Iraq are playing in the Asian Cup in the knockout round. I think they're playing Qatar, so we all want to see Qatar get knocked out because we're all terribly Irish in the desire to see the humiliation of the successful. And I suppose that cues into nicely into uh, working for Inter Turku, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, let me see. Where, where, what was I going to do tonight? Yes, I was going to tell you a little bit about what life is like here. So we're here about a week and a half. We've been in Finland about uh, two weeks at this point. We're starting to get our bearings. I've got an idea of the bus system. I've got an idea how the supermarkets work. Um, so there's a few little odds and ends I'll probably mention. So when you come over here, the bus system in Turku and certainly uh, the transport system in uh, Helsinki from the two cities I know anyway at all, uh, it's very good. It's very good and it's certainly worth uh, making use of, but you do need to kind of look up, look up, look into things first. Generally, if you're here for a long time, get a card. It'll make things a lot easier. Uh, certainly, I've got a monthly bus pass here in Finland, in Turku, and it's so easy. Uh, we're traveling into Helsinki for a conference. My wife is the reason we're here. Uh, so conference-wise, she's in there uh, on Wednesday. And it's like nine euro each way, I think, maybe even nine return for basically a two hour trip on a very comfortable, very fast train. It's something that you're going to need to get a handle on if you come to Finland. Distances are significant, not least because there's so many lakes. This is like Lakeland. You think Minneapolis, Minnesota has got a lot of lakes. You think Cavan's got a lot of lakes. This place is riddled with them. I mean, it's more water, I think, than land for the most part. Uh, so anywhere, anytime you're trying to get anywhere, you're probably going to be at least passing water, if not crossing water. So that's an important thing to note. Uh, here in Turku, let's talk a little bit about Turku. Turku is this gorgeous old city on the west coast. It used to be the capital for a while. It's now something like the sixth biggest city in the country. Um and it is kind of isolated in a weird way we're quite close to helsinki but the only place you can get a direct train from here is to either tampere or helsinki and you can change on from those places on the way to helsinki i think you pass through salo which is quite big and espoo which is probably the second biggest city in the country i'm not too sure none of the cities are massive they're all about two uh, two hundred thousand for espoo I think it's 500,000 for Helsinki. Here we're about 160 to uh, 200,000 people in Turku. So they're not massive cities. But that said, the country is about the same size population-wise of the uh, as the island of uh, island of Ireland as was the Ireland of Ireland. Uh, so it's much more spread out and yet more urban in a weird way. The impression I have is that the vast majority of the population lives down here on the uh, south coast uh, towards the west and what have you. But the further north you get, the fewer people. Which is understandable because right now, this evening, hang on, I'm going to check the temperature of what it is now on the magic of a mobile phone. It is, according to this, very hard to get up a uh, temperature because it takes forever. It'll take deedle dee dee, deedle dee dum, I'll be waiting forever. Apparently tonight it's going to get down to minus 19 Celsius. That's minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit. So that counts as cold. 
uh, during the day I don't think it got above minus seven degrees outside um, that's in Celsius work out the Fahrenheit for yourself if you really need to so it's cold very cold uh, at one point because I was only wearing a single hat on top of my head as well as all the other body stuff I wasn't walking around naked I mean it's cold uh, Basically, I could feel brain freeze coming on. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what that is, drink too much, um, or sorry, eat too much ice cream and you'll know very quickly. It's not gonna see above freezing for the foreseeable future. We've had a few fairly heavy snow uh, blasts, but the public transport is working almost seamlessly as it should do. The day of a heavy snow, it gets a little bit bad, but you know, it's it's manageable. Oh, here we go. So let's see if we can see that temperature that's scheduled for tonight. Oh, thank you phone. Minus 23 degrees. That qualifies as cold in my book. I hope it qualifies as cold in your book. Um, I won't be going out tonight, just so as you know. It's late. Well, that that's the only reason why. As usual with moving to any other uh, city in a different country, Things seem different. Shops are slightly different. For example, if you buy a soda can or a fizzy drink can or a plastic bottle in particular, the expectation is that you're going to be returning it. There's a deposit charge and every time you put a can uh, or, or a bottle into these machines in the supermarkets or at least the bigger supermarkets, you get a ticket that gives you like a credit for 20 cents or a euro 20 as I had today from depositing I think six bottles so be aware of that when you come over here yes buy your favorite coca pepsi but keep the bottle and return it and you'll get that in the form of a little ticket that you can use to discount your next coca pepsi or whatever it is you crazy young kids do be drinking um there's also different stuff there's a lot of fish uh products quite a lot of salmon floating around uh tons of meatballs yeah it's not really sweden but it is uh scandinavian enough to appreciate a good meatball uh, i unfortunately am not scandinavian enough to appreciate a good meatball so i've been eating occasionally fish balls and that's not a weird thing to say on the internet uh but yeah, there's a lot of sort of odd little different things and I thought it might be fun that uh, every now and again I'm going to try something out in front of you. What I'm going to try tonight is actually something I have tried before, which I quite like. This is called Long Drink, the Origin... Hang on, I have to get these bearings right. The Original Long Drink. Now, according to the back of it, it says that it's a blend... This Sorry, unique blend of Finnish artisan gin and refreshing grapefruit. Originally invented for the 1952 Helsinki Olympic Games. So says the back of this thing. You can get one of these if you want. Basically, it's grapefruit flavored gin. Artisanal gin from the 1950s. Sorry folks, that is a 19, or sorry, a year 2016 or 17, maybe 18, I don't know, I haven't been around for a long time. Uh, British and Irish thing. I was actually really surprised coming back to Britain and Ireland lately to see how much gin there is. So, uh, cheers. Drink responsibly, kids. This has an alcohol content of 5.5%. Or as you can see, locally, 5,5%. Uh, That's another thing. Uh, dates are as they should be, but decimals are not. They use a uh, comma where they should use a full stop in my opinion, which is, of course, the right opinion. Down to business, uh, or more to business. Uh, I probably should tell you a little bit about why I'm uh, playing as Interturku. So I lived here for two weeks. I visited here about six years ago, seven years ago uh, this summer. Uh, my wife was on an exchange. This is why I go places. My wife is amazing and wonderful, and she, like, hoovers up all the good uh, exchanges. So we were here on an exchange years ago and there was one game on in the time I was here and that was Inter Turku playing at the Pavo Nurmi Stadium and they were playing, funnily enough, these guys, Coops, as I call them. They're probably not called Coops. I call them Coops. Uh, Kuopionen, sorry, Kuopion Palosera 
and basically they're a team from uh, sort of the central cent middle east of Finland uh, sort of centerish uh, it's about six hours of a drive away and we're playing away so that is a six hour away game a six hour trip for an away game um, I don't think we f there's a direct flight Google didn't tell me this on this occasion or maybe I just forgot to look anyway the um, the game against uh, Coops was won 2 1 by uh, Inter back then. It was, let me see, who exactly was it scored? I think Sir Bladze scored one of the goals. I can't remember who scored the other one. Uh, it wasn't a great game, but it whetted my appetite. And Pavo Nurmi is not the greatest stadium to watch a football match in. I'm very much looking forward to the Veritas uh, in a couple of weeks, a couple of months' time, actually. It's going to be, a, I think it may actually be. The middle or uh, it might be April before I get to see a game in the Veritas because here's the fun thing about the local game we have the cup games right now according to stuff I'm misreading on the internet it's just a B team uh, competition this year for uh, Inter presumably until the semis but uh, this get this um, these games will all be over in the next month and then the league does not start until I think it is April the 8th. So it's a long old wait. I'm going to try and get to TPS games. I'm going to try and get to all the other local games. I'm going to probably talk more about these games in uh, the next pod. Or sorry, the next pod. The next YouTube video. Because hopefully I play two games tonight. Let me show you who we're playing. Coops uh, away. And hopefully... If I can get my finger out, we're going to be uh, watching the Ilves game, which is taking place in Tampere. And that would leave us then for the next game being a big chat, chat, chat about TPS and about uh, Turku and football in Turku. There are a ton of teams here. You'd be amazed. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that blows uh, down the line. Um, I'll talk about uh, Kuo Pion. I'm really sorry about the pronunciations, folks. The names sound beautiful in the voices of people from around here. They sound murdered by me. But, uh, yeah, so every chance of coming away with something from the game. So it's like minimal difference odds-wise. No idea about the referee. Of course, why would I? This is the first league game. I've played 14 friendlies prior to this. We'll talk about that in a little bit. We're missing one player. They're missing one of their best players. Uh, well, he's not actually all that great. But he is Ghanaian. So therefore he's better than me. Um, but let's talk a little bit about uh, Kuopion. Uh, basically it's in the Midwest. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a, a map picture up here for this. Uh, or the, sorry, not the Midwest. The Mid-East. And... It's a fairly big city. It's not like massive or anything. Uh, according to the Google, let me get this up. It has a population of uh, 118,000, which makes it the ninth largest in the country. 97.8% um, uh, Finnish speaking, 0.1% Swedish. Uh, mostly... Um, it's a subarctic climate, which is pretty, pretty bloody cold. Colder than here. They will not be having a uh, warm evening tonight. Indeed, the average high this time of year in Celsius is minus six degrees or twenty-one degrees in Fahrenheit. Thank you, Wikipedia. Uh, the daily mean is nine point minus nine point two. The average low is minus twelve point six. And the record low, and we're talking in almost both Fahrenheit and Celsius here, minus 39.3 Celsius, minus, uh, minus 39.3 Celsius, minus 38.7 Fahrenheit. Ow. When the Fahrenheit and the Celsius meet, that is bad for everybody. So, uh, the number, apparently it's a big, big place for culture. Lots of music stuff, a lot of art stuff, a lot of dance stuff. So if you look at the list of famous 
people from here you got like philosophers and nobel prize winners and politicians and musicians and like uh alma who is a singer songwriter for example who came wait what does it say uh she finished fifth on the seventh season of the finnish version of idol there you go there's only there's a few hockey players mentioned but there's only one uh footballer mentioned a guy called Tavi Aulis Ritkoinen, and I'm again mashing that name up, but he was the first, uh, the Finland's first ever professional player uh, because he f signed for Toulouse in 1958. Same year, he also played for them in the, um, what's the name of the thing? The Olympics, which were held in Helsinki. Uh, he scored, they played one game, they lost 4 3 to Austria, and he scored one of the goals. Spent eight years in France, uh, then came back and managed uh, HJK Helsinki, went on to manage the national team for a little bit. Uh, his first team was, of course, Coupes, because why wouldn't they be? If he's from that part of the world, he's probably going to be playing for the local team. Back in the 50s, he certainly would have anyway. Um, yeah, here's the thing that you need to know. Uh, Kuopio uh, wasn't actually all that massive a city but it's sort of a, uh, conglomerated a lot so it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger as all these smaller cities get consolidated into it so it's an interesting kind of neck of the woods uh, I think it's fair to say so that's a bit of a start let's go uh, look a little bit more at uh, Coops, the team, they've had an alarmingly good setup, lost a couple of friendlies, but they look like they've topped their uh, side of the group. Yep, they've topped it. They were second the last two seasons in real life. Um, they weren't great back when I saw them, but that's like years ago. Uh, this team's not going to be easy to beat. As in real life, they're not particularly easy to beat. Uh, the the actual real life team I think they've won the league once let me double check this uh, they have won the league uh, oh a few times actually five times uh, more fool me uh, they've won the Finnish Cup twice and they had the record uh, club record for most consecutive seasons in the top flight from 49 to 92 but as with all clubs, uh, they've had their slides. In 1998, they went down as far as the third tier, uh, but only for a season. Uh, and recently, they've been they've been good. They've been really good. Um, they've got a smattering of good international players. In, the, in real life, we've got a fella here from, where is it? Senegal, Senegal, uh, Cameroon, that looks like Azerbaijan. Colombia, uh, Estonia, how exotic. Uh, Brazil, a guy called Rangel, and Ruben Ayama, who is probably not going to be playing in this game. But uh, either way, you can see they've played a ton of friendlies. You think that's a ton of friendlies? That's a ton of friendlies. I played 14 bloody friendlies, little silly cup game, or sorry, made up league thing as well. I've done well. I mean, 9-1 is probably unrepresentative as uh, uh, in an away game. 7-0 against another Tur uh, Turku place, uh, based team. Haven't Didn't do great though in the cup where I was playing teams who are in my division. But I'm doing okay. I've qualified. I've, I should shut up and count me lessons. I'm going to be playing MP, whoever they are. But I've got four, cup, uh, four league games in a very short space of time. This game is happening on the 14th of April. I have this and uh, in the 14 days to the Sunday, the 28th of April, I play five day, five games. That's basically a game every three and a bit days, which is somewhat intense, to put it mildly. Looking at the squad, I haven't added much. Uh, there was a player I super wanted to get uh, who was a 35-year-old Gambian, uh, and not him. He's, he's the god Mansali here. A uh, 35-year-old uh, Gambian who could play left or right-sided. And I was going to get him for uh, no wage. And he was also going to double as a scout. And Mariham dived in there and got him before me. So it is on, Mariham. It is on. Uh, price are a little bit inflated because like I've 
just given my main defenders a uh, not a way it's actually a wage cut but it's a new contract so that's kind of artificial uh, disappointing uh, Dretschke is injured he's uh, twisted his ankle like a silly tit so he is out um, Verho uh, Viholainen uh, is up his own Viholainen and is not going to be playing in this game because he has not helped me very much uh, we have a fairly standard uh, set up here the 4141 they call it. it's basically a 433 after a fashion uh, usual four defenders they've kind of been mainstays uh, this guy here Ari Nyman is displaced uh, in favor of Moon Power because he's been great Guevara has come in uh, it was going to be Hadretschke second thought of him because Guevara has had a couple of very good friendly games against awful opposition Albion Ademi, I don't really trust. I kind of want to put somebody else in there. And Timo Furuolm has actually been good the last couple of games. Uh, the couple of friendlies. So I'm going to give him a shot. Uh, Sheriff has not taken his chances. Uh, so he's not happening. Subs-wise, uh, Koponen is uh, doing the business. Uh, Timu is sitting happy. Hoskonen has been great. He got a hat trick in one game. Two headers from corners and a uh, penalty in one of the friendlies. So he's been uh, his eyes are being kept on him. He's going to be uh, he's he's pinged for the big time. So I'm going to put in this guy, brand new player for me, uh, Gomo. He's Nigerian uh, on Duku. Uh, he's quite swift. He's got decent, a good determination, which means a lot to me. His teamwork isn't great. His work rate's okay. But his finishing, crossing, and dribbling and first touch are the business. So I'd keep an eye on me back, Albion. You were gone uh, if Ba had signed for us. We'll see how it goes. So this in hand, the aim is, if worst goes, uh, we'll play a little drinking game. Every time, if, if you, and you can play at home, you don't have to have original, uh, what is it, long drink with you. Uh, every time I make the face of, <clears throat> you, you get to drink. I will just drink copiously as it's late in the night, and I don't want to let it go flat. Okie doke, uh, carry on, carry on. Oh yeah, there's already been one game played in the league this season. Uh, it was... The kickoff was between TPS and Maryham. In real life, TPS got relegated last year, and Maryham finished just above them. It was. I was looking at the uh, league at the end of the year, wondering, okay, who do I really want to be in the same division this year uh, with Inter? I picked Inter because they were the team I'd seen. Do I want TPS so we have the uh, city rivalry in Derby, or do I want the excuse to go out to the islands? Well, as it happens, I'm not going to be here when Maryham play against uh, Turku but it's Maryham who are going to be here I'm going to make a field trip to Maryham at some point with uh, my son so we can watch a game and I'll take a bit of video so you can watch them uh, and I'll do the, the same at Inter Turku oh coming up by the way in two weeks time Saturday week I suppose uh, I'm going to be seeing a cup game as in, uh, FC Inter Turku take on somebody can't remember but bought the ticket forgot about the ticket but they're going to be taking them. They're going to be taking them on, uh, and I'm going to take a little bit of video. That's going to be an indoor game because if it's like it is right now, there's too much bloody snow to play to stand watching games. Never mind to play them. Right, let's go on to the match preview. Oh, so we're in our away strip of red. I don't like the red away. I get it, but I don't like it against the yellow. Why can't we wear our black and blue? against the yellow. I, that sounds like awful guff to me. We're second at the moment, based on name alone. Uh, let's see. They're excellent, we're inconsistent. Well, we were pretty inconsistent, to be honest. Although, that is not the story you get from looking at the recent results, but they're all friendlies, so you can't count them. Looks like they're going for 4-1-1. Uh, 
Uh, Hedretsky out, Kuninga. I'm not picking him. Don't be mad. Uh, Yanni has been saying nasty things and says that we're going to get relegated, so I want to rub his face in it, but they're so much better than us. They're favourites to finish second, so I won't be expecting to be doing any rubbing. All I'm hoping is that we don't embarrass ourselves too much today. Okay, I'm happy enough with that team. Got all the positions filled. Sorry, Latty. Sorry, boys. You're losing out on this one. Uh, oh, yes. Change it to balanced. Uh, you can see me rough formation. Uh, let me see if I can click this up. To, mm, go on. Uh, where is the tactics board? Uh, not there. Either way, ah, yes, that's why I need to do it. Open it out. So you can see how we're set up. Generally, with some exceptions, I normally set these uh, personalized things to suit the player in the uh, in the position. Some exceptions, I always go for wing backs uh, who are attacking, given my style. And Moonpa isn't really entirely. Actually, let's set that to defend. A uh, defensive midfielder but he's been playing well there but normally I've had him support let's see I have a feeling we're going to need him to defend more than not put it that way uh, no nonsense out of him as a stopper for grand okay let's kick on three substitutes oh blue murder uh, oh yeah no no that's the three subs outside the match today that's okay I'm being an idiot. Match number uh, selection. Let's see. Let's put him as 10. Give him something to live up to. 33 numbered players in the squad. Don't think we'll be seeing all 33 this season, I hope. Hmm. I don't know about anyone else. I really like grapefruit drinks. One of my favourite drinks is uh, the Schweppes grapefruit thing that we used to get back in the day okay so when you're left full is your key man for your team you're not looking at the best of seasons okay let's go into the dressing room and have a chatter with everybody uh, set up position instructions first wrangle is right footed and right footed so we'll just pick them up a little bit on the left this is saying mark tightly at all times yes we're doing that put him on his weaker foot what's his weaker foot is the left never too bothered about the central ones yeah he's right why this is an interesting thing almost everybody in these leagues seems to be right footed not coming across too many left-footed players here right now. This is a man who I always think it's important to watch. Yeah, right. I always like to have uh, the defend that guy uh, kept a close eye on. You don't need those guys to be watched. I also found over the years that if you don't, or if you have too many, uh, too many instructions, the players don't actually play because they're busy dealing with too many bloody instructions. So that's my uh, grand theory. Virtanen's feedback uh, and Tankeo having problems communicating because of language barrier and having problems motivating himself to play for me. Cameroonian, what's his language? Do we need to get somebody in? He speaks French, Albanian, and Bosnian. Look, Albanian and Bosnian are no use to me. Yeah, nut job. Uh, I hope somebody put him on some kind of uh, training push to learn the language. Because it's costing me a fortune every time I, I sign a player. Because I do think they should probably speak uh, the language. Or at least have some members of the team who also speak the language. Okay, uh, what did the, this guy tell me to do? Clear minds. Eh, I never do clear minds. Let's see. No. 
go out and give it an impress me. Okay, Julian Guevara's motivated. I have faith in you boys. Okay, we've got two players interested. I have faith in you boys. There we go, that's a bit better. And uh, Furu, I will talk to more of the same tonight. Okay, don't listen. See if I care. I don't even like you. Uh, of course, obviously, these are fake players, and any failures on the parts of the players are really to do with me, not with them. Just short little disclaimer there before anybody starts going, these poor guys, they're working their hearts out. Need to make a very quick change. I put on key highlights. I like extended. I'm not going ex uh, comprehensive because, you know, life is short. So, here we go. The league has kicked off at long bleeding last. Oh, an offside. That shows attacking. Haven't kicked the ball three times and we're down to third. I do love the early t time in the league because just rock it around the table based on um, you know a result here and a result there. Ooh, HJK a goal down uh, thanks to their own man and they've equalized almost instantaneously. We've had a shot from Mita uh, Mitalo. Mikatalo even. Oyala has been actually doing pretty good. Oh, <gasps> a penner! Markula to take the penner. Okay, I will allow that. This would be a good start to the season. Away in uh, Coops. It's a good start! Nice. 1 0 up after 18 minutes. Shove that in your pipe, guy whose name I forget. Ah, back up to second behind presumably Mary Ham. Nicely taken Penner. Goalkeeper mile off his uh, line, but hey, I'll take it. And a couple of shots there. Deedle dee done. Go lads and get another one. So I'll be interested to see what uh, the weather's like in April here. I'm presuming it'll be quite pleasant. I can understand why you wouldn't want to be playing league games in the middle of um, in the middle of uh, February. It just does feel like a long step between, you know, cup games in January. Then you get league games in April. You know, start the cup in March maybe or something like that. Or start that part of the cup in March. You know, save the uh, teams a little bit of money on these halls that they'll have to rent. You know, I won't be crying if there's no other highlights until we get to the end of the half. But it is tedious viewing, isn't it? A lot of 6.5s in the attack. And the midfield is one or two. Ooh. Get in there. Good man. Go on, Mikatalo. Notice the incredibly Irish pronunciation on Mikatalo. Guevara! Unlucky for Rome, but Jesus, Guevara, that's great. And that's probably going to be it for the half. Free kick to them. We've had seven shots and four on target. I mean, we've seen two. Uh, but that's very acceptable. Ooh, yellow card for Moon Pa. Okay. So, Markula claiming the ball back more than anyone else. Not a high scoring day, or first half of the uh, day, it has to be said. Hardly concede any free kicks in promising areas, uh, apart from, you know, one. Poor old Coops. Uh, poor conversion, struggle for possession. Lost a lot of possession in central areas. Mm. We've not had much possession, full stop. Stats-wise, we're not great. Furom is not good. Ademi and Oyala aren't playing well. Mikatalo doesn't look like he's playing great. Nobody's playing well. Markula is not playing badly. That is the best we can do. In fact, let, let's have a squint down here. We've had one clear-cut chance. That was presumably the penner. 
two blocked shots Guavara's was one of them mostly on target I'm pleased to see um, four long shots not good when we're taking them from so far out offside that one time early on we're running more than them my teams always run more I don't know why and we're doing better on average than them let's just check that again no it doesn't say who the good and the bad and the ugly are in terms of players so my best is probably Marcula who's margin about the same level as Ruben Gabriel uh, who is the Nigerian as opposed to oh maybe that's the fellow who's meant to be not being risked interesting stuff their captain is low on uh, energy so I'm a dirty sneaky ge uh, beast I'm gonna have a look at doing something about that <sighs> captains coming off I will be removing my captain from the field as opposed to pulling my captain off um, that's not good that qualifies as I would go as far as saying bad performance wise there it's just not happening really in, in many ways formation wise it's as it was. Analysis. Yeah, Ruben Gabriel. We're marginally better. Minimally better. Wrangle. The two strikers are just muck today. I'm wondering if this is par for the course with some of these teams. We'll find out the first game of the season. It's impossible to really have any any genuine, sincere knowledge. Uh but so easy to second guess everything. So let's have a team talk. Things going well. You can do better, lads. Thank you, Julian. Julian, uh, the only one who un who you're the only one who appreciates me. Uh, solid defensive work. Yes, got away with it. Uh, let's try. You can do better. For the midfield. Good. Let's see what Furon's response is to this. I'm not happy. Fired up. Will we give him a go? I'm a softie. Let's give him a go. And this time let's hit him some early crosses. Not run so much. Uh, let's go a little bit more mixed. And do an overlap on the right and overlap on the left. And what else was I going to do? I was going to have a gawk at the opposition as well. Now, who's my little friend here? Oh, I am going hard on them. Let's just press them a little bit as well. For always. Yeah, and we'll harry him as well because he does not look yeah wrangle is not playing well we harry him he might give up the ball a little bit easier we'll see okay uh in the team talk ready to walk through walls what an atmosphere oh what an atmosphere any fans of uh, russ abbott's musical oeuvre out there of course not because you're not mad. People bought that single. Okay. I'm sorry folks, by the looks of things, this could be a rather tedious game. Hopefully the next one will be a bit better. But we're gonna do a jump cut because you don't need to watch everything, do you? It's pretty tedious at this point. Furu Olm still at 6.4. Oyala down to 6.4. This isn't good. And they have possession. This also is not good. I mean, I'd be happy with a draw. But I'm enjoying this winning thing. Moisander all in black like Lev Yashan. As he should be. So, yeah. We're not great up front. Ojala and Furom are going to get yoinked off. Yoinked, not any other word. Filthy minds. 
I feel nastily like the problem isn't up front. But they're not doing anything with the ball when they get it, so... Let's see how this little bit plays out. Now, terrible back pass, scoring a goal. Nope. It's more tippy-tappy than ticky-tacka. I mean, the theory with ticky-tacka is that once you get up to the final third, then players start doing crazy things. But they're ticky tacka -ing right up to the goal line by the looks of it. Oh, mon pa, you nearly did it. No, good man. Now run for your life, Guevara. Okay, let's stop this here. Let's see what we're going to do. Right now, Ojala looks bad. Furon looks bad. Adiemi, Adiemi does not look great. Mikita, oh God, I could like make seven replacements here and not feel guilty about any of them. So, let's just kick out the 6.3s. That's just not acceptable. It really is not acceptable in the modern world to be that low. Let's put him as a supporting striker. That'll allow for... Let's see who's gonna, who can replace you, Ojala. No one can replace you. But we're going to shove this guy on instead and see how he goes on the right. I've not tried him on the right. Uh, let's try him as an inside forward. I think might be the clever thing to do because if I'm not mistaken, his finishing is pretty good. His dribbling is pretty good. His first touch is pretty good. His anticipation is pretty good. So there's a lot of things there that I like and might work. So hopefully we'll get some play there. Is there anyone to replace Adeyemi? No. No, there's nobody available. So we're just going to hope that these two changes are master changes. Anyone here at the back? I mean, I kind of want to replace Moonpaw, but he's not even the worst one back there. Mikatalo is the worst. Hmm. I shall hold off. Okay, uh, team talk. No pressure tonight. Okay, worked on Sheriff, not on Gomo. Okay. Allez, allez. Alright, so. We, they're all down the right. They made no changes. I, oh, here, they, here come the two changes. So Wrangle's going deeper. Let's just adjust the just uh, these guys. Uh, our position. So who we brought on? Our angle is all right. Yeah, I thought he was going to have to go off. Uh, so Savonlin, right-footed. He's all right. He's not in the same league. Fortunately. Have him tightly marked. Put one to the left. And the lefty is... Oh, he's decent, all right. He is... Well, potentially decent. I mean, I don't know for real. But let's mark him close. Close him down. Oh, and is he left-footed? Of course not. He's right-footed. They're all right-footed. He's right-footed. I'm right-footed. We're all right-footed. Uh, we've had some movement here. Mark him tightly. Weaker foot. Huh. Don't hold back. In you go, lads. No surrender. No... Uh... All right. So we've still had more shots on target. We've still had more shots now committed more fouls and we've got a yellow card more than they do I wonder if I should just tinker with this and go positive and team inst oops not team instructions cancel that go for a shout concentrate not the best kind of orange juice but my de facto shout 
in this game. So that would be bad. An equalizer, which always presages a winner. Unless it doesn't. We'll see. Not great defending there. Wrangles, muck. Look at him, 6.3. Adami also, muck. Okay. Let's take off somebody. I know that sounds pretty arbitrary, but... Rules for match. Do you know what I haven't done? I have yet to figure out how many subs I'm allowed. So pardon me, as we go on a little detour, we need to figure out how many subs. Because if I can have four, that changes my my plan for the rest of it. Maximum three used, okay, fair enough. Can't complain, it's just hopeful. Who gets the heave ho? Got nobody to replace the Demi effectively. Montilla is not doing great, so I think I could bring on Timur Hoskonen. Take on, take a chance on youth. It's better be young. Yeah, Twenty-one's young enough. Young enough. Make him the defensive central defender. We'll put him as a no-nonsense stopper. And, oh, I could have, mm, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, what are we gonna do here? Catalo, is he one of those players who plays everywhere? No, he's not, he's not that right kind of one. Okay, team talk. Go out and score a winner. He's happy. I'm glad he's happy. Better not let in a goal now, mate. No pressure, but you are now the uh, the cutting edge. You are the difference, potentially, between the two teams. Okay. Great throw in Mansali. Oh... Dooku, you were my second choice of a signing for a backup, and now you're my first choice of everything for a camp, yeah, for a little while. Nicely done, Guevara with the uh, setup. I mean, honestly, three, four, uh, four friendlies ago, or two weeks ago, I had no intention of keeping Guevara, having Guevara in the first team. He just did not look like he was up to it. And now, such a uh, change. So, 2 1. Oh, I am definitely going to say. Concentrate! Yeah, let's say concentrate. Go, oh, so close there on, uh, on Dooku. Not for a woofer of a ball. It's the kind of thing that would catch somebody out. Oh. This is the point at which you drink heavily from the bottle. I don't blame Hoskonen. That's the goalkeeper's fault. I was going to say earlier that in three or two or three of these friendly fifty odd friendly games I've been playing, I've seen the um, 
I've seen the goalkeepers letting in stupid back passes. And there we go. That is a victory stolen from us by an, a non-concentrating goalkeeper. Is that the second? Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, that's just silly buggers. Ooh, it's going to be a long season. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he getting too much space for his crosses? Well spotted, mate. Oh, God. Led for all but seven minutes. You can imagine, this will not go down very well. I will see you in a few minutes, or a few seconds in your time, as I uh, start the next game. But I am not happy. Not even a long drink can make up for that. See you in a bit.